OK, so the solution then to number 3, part A. In this question, we have that y equals 3x squared plus 4 times square root of x, where x is greater than 0. And if we've got to differentiate this, what we need to do is check that each term is in the form ax to the power n. That is a constant, a times x to the power n. The first term is, but the second term isn't. So I'm going to write this as being equal to 3x squared. And if you know your indices, then the root of x is the same as x to the power half. So I'm going to write this then as 4 times x to the power half. So now we're in a position to differentiate y with respect to x. So therefore, dy dx equals... And to differentiate terms like ax to the power n... When we differentiate these terms, OK, let me just say that, let's just rub this part out and just say that uh, if y equals ax to the power n, then we should know that dy dx is always equal to a times the power n, so that's a n, and then we reduce the power by 1, so that's x to the power n minus 1. So I'm going to use that idea here. So we have 3x squared. When we differentiate this, we have 3 times 2, which is 6. Reduce the power by 1, and that's x to the power 1. Notice I don't bother putting the 1 in. Then we come on to this term. So differentiating this, we have 4 times a half, which is 2. Reduce the power by 1, and we get x to the power minus a half. All right, so that's dy dx. B. All right, so we have to find d2y by dx squared. In other words, we have to differentiate dy dx with respect to x. So we take dy dx and differentiating the first term, differential of 6x becomes simply the 1 times the 6, which is 6, then reduce the power by 1, that's x to the power naught, and anything to the power naught is simply 1. So that's going to just remain as 6. In fact, any term of the form ax, where a is a constant, will always differentiate to give a that constant. So differential 6x then is the constant 6. Moving on. Don't rush in and write a plus until you've figured out what it's going to be. Otherwise, you're going to only end up with crossing it out, maybe. We've got plus 2, then, times the negative a half. 2 times negative a half is negative 1. So we have minus 1. And then subtract 1 from the power, and we get x to the minus 1 and a half. Don't write mi uh, 1 and a half, minus 1 and a half. Keep it top heavy so that becomes minus 3 over 2. OK, that 1 isn't really needed, so I could just simplify that to be 6 minus x to the power minus 3 over 2. All right, OK. Last part then, C. In this one, we have got to integrate y with respect to x. And what it equals will be the integral then of whatever y is, and y is up here, as 3x squared plus, and I'm going to change the 4 root x back to 4x to the power half. Don't forget to put this, because it's got two terms here, in brackets, so put that in brackets, and then dx on the end. Now, to integrate any term of the form, let's just remind you, if you have to integrate anything of the form a, where a is a constant, x to the power n with respect to x, then all you do is you keep the constant there, add 1 to the power, so you get x to the n plus 1, and divide by the new power. So that's over n plus 1. All right? 
So moving over to here, the integral of 3x squared just becomes 3x, add 1 to the power, that becomes power 3, and divide by that new power. Oops, don't know what happened there. Let's just uh, rub that out and start again. So that's 3x to the power 3 all over 3. Come on to the final term here. We have plus 4. Add 1 to the power. That's x to the power 1.5 or 3 over 2. Divide by the new power. So that's over 3 over 2. Don't forget also to add in the constant of integration. So I'm going to call it plus C. Some of you might use another letter like K or an A or something like that. Okay, so all we need to do now is just tidy this up. So put equals down there. Try and keep your equals all in a line. And the threes cancel here, so we're left with x cubed. And 4 divided by 3 over 2 is the same as 8 thirds, so that's 8 thirds. Just times top and bottom by 2, so you get 4 twos are 8, and 2 times 3 over 2 is 3, so that's 8 thirds. Then x to the power 3 over 2, and plus that constant of integration. So don't forget that c. Okay, so uh, hopefully you understand that, and... Uh, Got it right.